Hello dear students welcome to top scholars today we will be discussing about writing chemical formulae of compounds so friends let's first start with chemical formula what is a chemical formula yes a chemical formula is also known as molecular formula which includes information regarding the symbols of all the constituent elements and their respective number as subscripts in simple terms we can say that chemical formulae is a symbolic representation of the composition of a molecule and what does a chemical formula represent friends yes a chemical formula gives you information about the constituent elements that are present in the compound for example in co2 can you tell me which are the constituent elements the symbol c represents which element yes the symbol c represents carbon and what about the symbol o it represents yes oxygen so here we can see that co2 is made up of two constituent elements which are they yes carbon and oxygen the chemical formula also gives us information about the number of atoms of the constituent elements that are present in the compound now friends tell me in co2 how many atoms of carbon are there yes one atom of carbon and how many atoms of oxygen are there yes exactly two atoms of oxygen so friends a chemical formula helps you to identify the elements that are present in the compound and at the same time it also gives you information about the number of atoms of the constituent elements that are present in the compound but friends in order to write the chemical formula you need to know the valency as well as the chemical symbols but what is valency yes valency is the combining power of an element in other words valency helps us to determine how atom of one element combines with atom of other element resulting in the formation of a chemical compound so valency is nothing but combination of atoms of one element with atoms of other element resulting in the formation of a chemical compound so if you know the valency of elements you can easily write down the molecular formula of the compound so let's have a look at the valency of some elements so in the first column you can see that we have the symbols of the elements and in the second column we have the valency of these elements so let's start with the first element that is placed that is hydrogen right the symbol of hydrogen is capital h and what is the valency of hydrogen yes valency of hydrogen is 1 what about sodium symbol of sodium is na and its valency is 1 oxygen is represented by the symbol o and what is the valency of oxygen yes 2 the next one capital n capital n is the symbol of nitrogen and what is the valency of nitrogen 3 calcium has a symbol ca and its valency is 2 The next one aluminum has the symbol AL and its valency is 3. The last one what does the symbol C stand for? Yes, carbon. And what is the valency of carbon? Yes, it is 4. So friends, here we saw the symbols of some elements as well as their valency, right? So once we know the symbols and the valency of elements now we can write down the chemical formula of the compound right but before writing the chemical formula we need to understand certain rules for writing chemical formula so the first rule is the valencies or charges on the ion must be balanced rule number 2 says that the name or symbol of the metal should be written first let's take an example to understand this friends Now here you can see we have calcium oxide right the formula for calcium oxide is CaO now over here you can see that in the chemical formula the symbol of the metal is written first that is the metal over here is calcium right and what is the symbol of calcium ca exactly so here you can see that in the chemical formula the symbol of the metal that is calcium is written first Similarly if you look at sodium chloride the formula for sodium chloride is NaCl and what does Na stand for sodium that is the metal so always remember the name or the symbol of the metal should be written first now friends if you have a compound which contains polyatomic ions so rule number 3 says that in polyatomic ions the number of ions that are present in the compound should be indicated by enclosing the formula of the ion in a bracket and you need to write down the number of ions outside the bracket 
let's take an example to understand this right so here i have magnesium hydroxide right the formula is mgoh2 now over here you can see we have polyatomic ion that is oh right now how many polyatomic ions are present in this compound two polyatomic ions are present in this compound right so in order to represent the chemical formula what we do is we put the polyatomic ion that is the formula of the polyatomic ion in a bracket and we write down the number of ions outside the bracket as you can see we put in the oh that is the polyatomic ion in brackets and we've represented the number outside the bracket so these are some rules which you need to remember while writing down a chemical formula to learn more about this topic download top scholars app